Hey guys, Kyle here from Gizmodo. Today I have a special laptop, the MSI Creator 17. A 17.3 inch display, while only weighing 2.5 kilograms, coming in a space gray color only, it's fairly minimalistic, focusing more on performance rather than looks. There are exhaust ports on the rear and sides of the computer with intake ports on the bottom. The laptop is completely matte finish, so it doesn't attract fingerprints. The power brick is very slim considering the size of the laptop and the power that it has in it. It's only 180 watts. If we take something for comparison, um, let's, uh, yeah, here's a remote. Here's the power brick. As you can see, it's not too big, so you can easily slip this inside your backpack. The keyboard feels okay for typing, with decent travel distance though there is a slight grip feel for the keys, so it might be difficult to get used to for some. There is hardly any keyboard flex, but there is only three levels for the backlight. Because this laptop is targeted towards creators, um, the full-size keys are very much appreciated in editing scenarios. The trackpad feels great. It's smooth, with left and right clicks feeling well distinguishable. For ports, there is a lot. Most interestingly is the UHS-3 port. Unfortunately, this is micro SD. It would have been nice to have a regular SD port instead of micro to avoid the use of USB dongles. For specs, this thing is definitely powerful enough for 4K editing and some gaming as well. When performing heavy tasks, expect the battery life to only last for about an hour and 30 minutes on full brightness. So on to the negatives. Um, unfortunately, the thermals, uh, from what I have seen, isn't where this computer handles as well as others. The problem with this PC is how loud it can get simply being on idle. On load, I was getting temperature spikes from 86 Celsius to 97 Celsius, according to the program CPU fan. Whereas plugged in and on idle, it would run between 50 and 55 Celsius. On idle, unplugged, it was about 55 to 65 Celsius, and the fans were much quieter, but still audible. When downloading a Steam game, running unplugged was the only way it wouldn't blow the fan loudly. Now the thing that makes this computer so different is the screen itself. The screen on this particular model was 4K 60Hz, with HDR1000 and a color gamut of 100% for sRGB and DCI-P3, and 91% for Adobe RGB, with a mini LED display. With these specs, it makes it a very colorful, full HDR compatible display. But the thing to really pay attention to is the mini LED technology. The screen has 240 dimming zones, which allow certain parts of the screen to get lighter or darker depending on the scene. This allows for higher degrees of contrast on the image. 100,000 to 1. In this example, we can see the dimming zones as I move the mouse around. Compare this to a normal LCD screen and the difference is obvious. In more comparisons to a typical display, you can see the differences in the overall brightness across the panel and contrast as well. To really understand the difference, I recommend seeing one in person. Using an HDR compatible source, the difference between the two is crazy. So regarding my HDR experience, um, to sum it up, HDR is awesome. Um, I mean, I've experienced HDR before, but I haven't really actually seen HDR content on a 1000 nit system like this. So this was my first real experience. Uh, however, um, <laughs> HDR uh, on Windows is really bad. When using HDR, there is a total temperature shift when doing normal browsing. Windows that might have had a neutral color before might look much more blue. To compensate for this, I tried to change around the settings, but the MSI settings were not flexible enough to get it where I wanted to. And the NVIDIA control panel didn't offer the color options that I see on my other system. So with that said, it's very clear that HDR isn't really meant for normal desktop browsing. It's meant for um, 
applications, um, opening up a video and the HDR works beautifully, it works great. Um, but uh, having HDR on in a normal desktop setting is really, really eye straining for me and I can't recommend turning it on. Now, my personal problem uh, with HDR in Windows was I tried to play games, but for some reason, uh, it wouldn't let me turn on the HDR. I tried this with uh, Resident Evil 2, Biohazard 2, um, the remake, and I also tried it with Hitman 2, uh, but both games I was not able to turn on for some reason. Another problem I had was when turning HDR off. I was getting low bit looking colors. This wasn't happening on any other monitor that didn't have HDR. However, when turning HDR on, the problem disappeared. So to sum up, the MSI Creator 17, it's a good laptop. The body, it feels nice, it feels rigid. It doesn't feel too heavy. As far as a 17 inch laptop goes, this is fairly lightweight. It's got a nice presentation. The bezels aren't too thick. It looks slick, it's matte finish. It feels nice. The keyboard, not necessarily a big fan, but it's something that you can get used to. Uh, when it heats up, the keyboard doesn't get too hot either, so it's, it's good in that sense. Mini LED technology inside the display is really revolutionary, and I really want this thing to just be everywhere. Um, no IPS, no, no more TN, OLED, no thank you. Mini LED technology is, I think, where it's at. So regarding the thermals, again, it needs a lot of work. I was noting a lot of temperature spikes that didn't really make me feel comfortable. Um, even though it was within the, the recommended uh, laptop uh, CPU limit. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Peace.